A very good morning to you on the final day of the 1993 World Rowing Championships from uh, Rudnice. David Goldstrom with the Eurosport, Eurosport team. And straight away we're to the action. The final of the men's lightweight single skulls featuring in lane one Denmark, the defending champion uh, Ernst Moore, then uh, Niall O'Toole, the champion of 1991. Pepin Arwin for Holland, the uh, black hat, orange vest. In lane three, in lane four for Great Britain, Peter Heining, sixth last year, but uh, in with a better medal chance this time. Then Stephen Hawkins, Olympic champion in lane five, and completing the lineup furthest away from you, top of the picture, Brian Sweener for the United States. 2,000 meters, and this could well be the fastest lightweight final over 2,000 meters ever seen in this sport. It really is tight, but um, the real battle should be in the center of the course but as we've already seen in the first day of finals here uh, people winning from all stations and uh, quite a few surprises perhaps the biggest surprise after the first day of racing is the fact that germany still are looking for their first gold medal well no german competitor in this as we see peter haining there for uh, great britain stephen hawkins for australia and uh, Brian Sweener for the United States. But here's Niall O'Toole for Ireland, the uh, champion of 1991 in uh, Vienna. Had a tailwind there, but he was brave and he was strong on that day to become the first Irishman ever to win a world championship medal and a gold one at that. Some celebrations. This year he was third in the Lucerne Regatta, which provides arguably the best form guide to uh, the world championships. And uh, that was behind Peter Heining of Great Britain and uh, this man who you can see in picture now, the Dutchman Pepin Arn Arnwin. Ard Bin, my apologies to him. The uh, defending champion, Jan, Jan Entsmoor for Denmark. So coming through the first uh, 500 metres, Peter Heining, who won Lucerne, won Duisburg, won in his heat, and uh, got through in the uh, semi-finals, uh, setting the pace and uh, throwing down the gauntlet to the rest of the field. And he's got the advantage over the other five at the moment. Peter, who's uh, 31 years of age, you can see the rain really tipping down. Well, he won't worry about that. It's miserable for the spectators and the judges and the jury, but for him, he's just a focus there. A metre 83 down uh, to uh, the uh, lightweight limit, 72 and a half kilos for this race. And he's got uh, half a length above, over the man who's just uh, outside him, and that's uh, the... Uh, Australian by my reckoning at the moment and that's uh, Stephen Hawkins those are the positions of 500 meters as we're deep into the uh, second quarter now second place just moving up now is uh, Pepin Ardwin for Holland Pepin from Amsterdam 23 years of age and just see the bow of his boat and uh, the horrible weather that we had at the beginning of the week, I'm afraid, has returned for the final day, and you can just see how hard that is. And it might just be the best place to be out in front where he can look left and he can look right and try, if he has to, to respond to any moves. So it's Great Britain 1, Holland 2, Australia 3, vying with uh, the uh, man in lane 1, the Dane who has uh, the World Championship title. In fact, uh, he's won it not just once, but twice. He won it also in uh, 1990. And uh, you can see how difficult it is out there for everyone. This is uh, a rather misty, wet view of uh, the Dutchman. And a thousand meters, and he's still got the advantage.
So Ernst Jens Moore of Denmark in lane one, closest to you at the moment, out of the medals, but look how the uh, race is now developing. It's Peter Heining out there for Great Britain in lane four, being challenged on both sides. On the far side, in the green and gold for Australia, it's Stephen Hawkins, the man who won an Olympic gold medal in the double skulls with Peter Antony in Barcelona just a year ago, the 22-year-old. But on uh, Peter Haining's right-hand side is uh, his closest challenger, and that's uh, Pepe Ardwin of Holland. And there's very little to choose between them. Brian Sweener now of the United States, lane six, trying to wind it up to get into the battle with the other members of this race. Sweener, who was the bronze medalist in Montreal last year in the lightweight world championships, the lightweight events, into the Olympic Games for the first time in 1996. Not this particular discipline. The men's double skulls and the men's coxless four together with the women's double skulls. Through then, 1500s into the last quarter. Now, can this man, Peter Haney, hold on to his lead? It's really being attacked now. Britain with two gold medals already in these World Championships to lie second in the middle. Oh, and he's just... And is that his chance gone? He just lost the blade. He lost the left blade, and Hawkins has gone firing past him. But it's the Dutchman who is just out of the picture as well, who's also in contention. Now, Haney's got to pull himself together if he wants to get any sort of a medal now. There's the Dutchman, Pepin Ardwin, and Haining for the first time made a major mistake in a regatta. And it's Ardwin being attacked by Hawkins on the far side. Hawkins in lane five, the Olympic champion from last year challenging the man who got the silver medal in the lightweight world championships and Haining angry with himself trying to fight back trying to get back and he is he's getting back a little by little on the Dutchman but I think Hawkins has taken advantage of the mistake it's now Hawkins ahead of Haining Haining really putting in an amazing sprint out Haining coming and coming and this is an amazing recovery by the British sculler what an amazing race here. He lost the blade inside the last quarter and he's coming back and he's still got to fight hard. The anger and it's got inside him and it's focused him and it's Hawkins now trying to respond to the Haining spurt. The Dutchman will have to settle for bronze. What a, a fantastic opening race on the final day of the World Championships and Great Britain get their third gold medal and Peter Haining recovers that is an unbelievable performance Hawkins who had the advantage but couldn't hold back the effort of this man well when he looks back at this he's going to be really mad at himself but thank goodness he actually had what it took to recover